kid sometimes, uh, you know, when we, we ask them to work, we ask them to to understand why they have to be alone half of the day because the mother needs to work and the father is not there. When I, I think that's, I come from a country where many, many, many fathers have to live, you know, to looking for an opportunity that this country is not giving them, trying to survive, trying to support their families. And, uh, and I mean, I'm okay with that. It's, it's surviving. You, you cannot blame them, you know. But in, culturally, we today we allow, or we think it's fine if you're a father and you provide your, your, your family with money. You know, if you support your family, you're doing fine. And as soon as I became a dad, I started to think, why? I mean, why would someone choose not to be next to their kids? It makes no sense. How can that be okay? You know, I want to be there when every decision is being made. You know, I want to be there when we choose if they're gonna eat this or that, if they're gonna watch that or this film. I, I, I want to be part of that. And uh, and we we kind of we're okay with with fathers not being there, you know, with fathers that don't know their kids. And, uh, How do you think it affected you as a person? You know, you, you seem so, you're, you are so mature, you seem so, you're so poised for your age, and it's a very accomplished film also for somebody who's never made it, it's your second film, I guess, but your first, you know, yeah. fiction film. So how, how did it affect you since you are so close with your father? You know, it doesn't, the, the, the little boy in the film doesn't seem lo lonely, and I would think not having a mother for you is not the case for the character, but yeah. is a huge gap, it's a huge gap in any child's life. Totally, yeah. No, it did affect me in many, many ways. Uh, hola, <laughs> this is my father and oh. Jose Maria, the actor. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, how did it affect me uh, not to have a mother? <laughs> I guess in every way. I mean, just did set my mind in a particular way that I don't know what would have been if not. I, I was... I, I am a... I, I do enjoy a lot being by myself and I, I, I have the feeling I'm... I became an actor but I also always knew I wanted to direct. Because of that amount of time I had, you know, to be... Fan, uh, fantasize? Fantasize. Fan, yeah, fantasize about what it was to have or not a mother, you know, because I didn't I didn't lose my mother. I never had it. You know, I was two years old. I don't have memories. So I, I did a lot of, of, of the, the acting comes from there, you know. I was creating characters, you know, creating the mother I needed at the time, you know, in a way. And... Uh, and in fact, my film is that. I mean, I believe this mother is, is a perfect mother. It's a mother that I would, would have loved to have, you know? Someone that understood that the, the only place for a kid to be, it's next to his mother, you know? There's no way that being far away from your mother can be good to you. No matter what's your condition, no matter what context you live in, everything has to start from that, and I believe I believe uh, a mother that knows that can be a great mother because then you can, uh, there can be many mistakes, but who cares, you know, that, that is normal, that is normal, but uh, there's something that happens when a boy is next to his mother that I saw when my little boy was being born, then it's special, different, and, and uh, unique. How old is your son? He's two, almost two years, one and nine months. Yeah. Uh, what did you learn about yourself making this movie? 